So hello there. I'm going to teach you roughly um, how to use certain parts of this bit of software that you can see on the screen which is called PCDJ. It's uh, also known as Virtual DJ and um, it's used as a program for other controlling uh, devices that need MP3s behind them uh, to work and it's complicated. So this is the version of PCDJ. This is as I use it. Um, I use it with a mouse. I actually don't have a controller, but if I can just show you here. Uh, where are we now? Remote control. These are some of the things that you can use with PCDJ. So you've got your basic uh, CDJ, uh, your twin CD player, uh, units that have got mixers built in, um, all these different parts. I believe it can do lights, but I'm not too sure about that one. So I haven't actually tried any of these either, so I don't know how well it works with these parts. I only know the actual general usage of PCDJ and how I use it, and that's kind of what I'm going to be concentrating on uh, during this video. So. In this video, I'm going to teach you the very basics of using PCDJ, kind of the things that you will need to know if you're going to go ahead and use it for any sort of reason. Now, when I'm DJing, when I actually have a booking to do myself, I use a mixture of uh, either dance music mixing, um, things like Top 40, uh, remixes of uh, popular songs, that sort of thing. So I would need to mix either side of these together. I use it for video DJing, which is when you're playing the music videos and you've obviously got screens that are facing your audience. I use it for karaoke and I also use it for just general music playing, what I call. So the kind of thing where people would be up on the dance floor at a wedding or something like that, you haven't got the music videos playing, you just want the music on that's what I would use this for as well. They're kind of the main usages for what I use PCDJ for. Now it does have millions and millions of other things that you can do with it. I mean that in the past when I've been entertained and I've been doing things like line dancing classes and salsa classes and that sort of thing and sometimes uh, you need to be able to slow a song down so as when people are learning a dance then you can slow the track down, it makes it a little bit easier, and then obviously bring it up to normal speed when they've learned the dance. And this is th that feature alone is something that is so basic on this little bit of software. And during the next couple of videos, I'm going to explain to you and go through each thing and try my best to explain to you how things work um, when using this. So, the first bit I'm going to start with is just general music playing. Um, now, when you go to set up your PC DJ uh, for when you're using it either live or not, one thing that you need to be able to remember is these here, your keyboard shortcuts. It's not very often that you're going to need to use these, but certain things like the beat lock, I've had that come on during a performance and not known how to get it off. So I've had to completely shut down the program and then restart it again. And it just means that basically you've got about 30 or 40 seconds where there is no music. You find it difficult to fill in uh, for the, the silence being there when people are upon the dance floor. So if you know this, you have a better idea of what to do should there be a technical problem during the show. This will basically go through everything um, and tell you what to do. Uh, what buttons to press and what they do and that sort of thing. Now for more technical things like that you can go onto the PCDJ website and that will give you uh, even more information. <coughs> Obviously if you are going to use anything like these players then you need to make sure that you've got them activated. So if I was to use this Newmark ICDX I would go to activate and that now means that I can use that bit of software with my computer. The way that it would find it is that it, I would plug it in via USB normally and the computer itself would automatically detect that that has been plugged in and then I would obviously just activate that and I would be able to use that with my computer, not a problem. 
As far as the video goes, you're not really going to need that for this one because I'm not going to teach you how to do music DJing just yet. Your codecs are the different files that PC DJ can play and what you want it to use when uh, you play a certain type of song. So when it's playing an MP3 track, I want it to use the MP3 decoder. Um, all these sorts of things and it just goes right the way through so yeah and you can add change and delete things on there as well your information is just about checking for updates if you want to go back to your factory settings or if you want to download any extras the performance is basically how well you want PC DJ to perform the better you want it to perform the more quality uh, the more space it's going to need on your computer your options it's pretty much simple things like that you would normally find on a twin CD player or a CDJ. So you've got like uh, your automatic gain, um, your uh, just bits of everything. <laughs> I was going to try and pick another one out then and my brain just froze so I didn't end up doing that. You've also got some things on there which are for when you are online DJing as well. So you've got like MSN. I've got mine disabled at the moment because I don't use MSN anymore. Um, your charts, auto update, blah blah blah, you can just go through all your settings make sure it's working right for you. And then most importantly, and this is something which I have to fiddle around with when I'm going to do a live performance, is your sound setup. Now when I'm out live, I don't have the single output, I actually use this external mixer. And as you can see there, on the sound card, it's got an actual image of the lead which I use. So I have the mono output from my laptop, and that goes into two separate lines. So you've got line one and line two. And that basically means that, obviously, if the wiring is in the right place, this left side here would be my line one, and then this right side, which is orange, would be my right, uh, line two. So you see how that works? It's pretty simple. You've obviously got your different outputs, so you can have like a three-line mix, so you can just have uh, headphones and a speaker, or as I normally use, just a speaker, uh, which is a single output, and it basically means that when I put my headphones in, it plays it through both earphones. <laughs> so anyway, I can describe that really. So once you've fiddled around with the settings and you've got them exactly how you want, the next thing that you need to do when obviously just playing music is to find the music that you want to play. Now on this side here, where you find all your music files, you've got audio, karaoke, video, and all. Now I just leave mine on all, because like I said before, I do do the video DJing, and I do do karaoke, and normally they're all in one event. So it's just handy for me that I can type in a song. If I go like, We Are Who We Are by Kesha, right? I can see that I've, I've got the video of it there, I've got the karaoke there, and I've got the track there. So it's really, really better for me to have it on all. But if you're going to do it with just the music, you're going to want to have it on just audio so you don't get confused. So select on the left hand side the file that you want. You'll have to go looking through your own computer to find the files and where they are located on your computer. Unfortunately. I'm not able to tell you where they are because different people's computers will store music in different places. Mine, personally, is actually on an external hard drive purely because the amount of music that I have can't be stored on a laptop. Unfortunately, they don't make them with enough memory. So you select the file. So we're going to go ahead with the singles charts from the 9th of the 1st. As you can see there, the top bits here from Hold You right the way up to Jungle these are songs that I've already played before. So when I put that in, you can see that the gain has automatically adjusted itself. And that's because when I've played this song before, I've already adjusted the gain. So it's not too loud and it's not too quiet for that song. So I could just go ahead and press play. And that song would play absolutely perfect. If I selected a song like this by Matt Cardle, you can see that it's scanning through the track and then watch in a second, the gain will go down by itself. And the reason it does that 
It's because it doesn't want the music to be coming through in the red, where it, it's too loud and it would come out distorted out of your computer. And obviously, if you've got it then going into a mixer distorted, the only way it's going out of that mixer is distorted. So you've got to get the gain right from first time. The way to set the gain is just press play on the track. And you can see on here, on this bar, that you've got certain loud points in the song, or certain points that are louder, like this bit here is louder than this bit. So to skip to that bit, you see there it's going into the red, so I might just want to bring the gain down a little bit on that. That's kind of the maximum that you want it. And then obviously it'll go to quieter bits, but they're quieter bits in the song anyway, so you don't really need to worry about them. Just so long as when it does get to this loud bit, it's not actually distorted. Okay? You'll also notice down here <coughs> that Jungle I've just played, it's got the little green symbol next to it. That just means that I've got it loaded. The orange one is, I've played it before. Um, it does have a habit of when you have it, when you've played a lot of songs through PC DJ, these colours, the orange and the green, they mean the same thing, but they will often just change colour by themselves. I don't know why that is. But yellow means that you've never actually played this before. So it also means that I haven't adjusted the gain on it as well. So I need to set the gain before I can go ahead and play it. And you'll notice there that I, it's turned red next to the When We Collide. That means I've already played that song, so watch this. If I go to a different chart and then go back, that song has gone. And where it goes is down to the bottom. You can just see there the little red mark. That's when we collide. And the reason it does that is because I've already played it and it doesn't want me playing the same song over and over again because PC DJ creators were very clever in thinking these people might not like to listen to the same song. So that's kind of your just general playing music through PC DJ. They're the only things that you need to know. So you've got your play, Q means to stop, and obviously you've got your pause. Uh, the special effects and everything will go on to in different videos. So thank you for watching this one. Have a little practice and make sure you enjoy your PC DJ.